Hey guys, my jam, August 11th. So this is a vegan coffee creamer that I made, which is actually kind of gross. <laughs> but it is a lot better than vegan milk and just having the sugar in it. So I got my coffee here and I put lots in it. I've been put, trying to put uh, more dates in it, maple syrup in it. So many things just to make it a little better, but it doesn't get any better. So it's kind of gross actually, but... Um, I tried, uh, I even used to straining it and stuff too, and it's still kind of gross, so, unfortunately, I can't make it myself, so I, but I did get some money so I could go get some coffee creamer and vegan sugar later, after I do laundry and spend time with family, but I'm still drinking it anyways, because I don't want to waste it, and it was... The main reason why I bought it again was because I couldn't find any coffee creamer for under seven bucks and I didn't want to pay that much. But when you have to buy the almonds, the dates, how much the dates it takes and all that stuff, it's really not that cheaper. But if you don't have anything, it is better than nothing. So I'm not going to, I don't know if I should share the link because it didn't turn out that good. So that's what it looks like. So yeah, unfortunately, I still don't have a microwave, and I haven't used the air fryer yet, because I've just been working on the dishes and prepping for, finish prepping the vegan chop suey, which I'm going to make soon, because I don't want uh, the bean sprouts to go bad, which they actually might be, but we'll see. <laughs> so yeah, that's the vegan coffee creamer homemade. It's not as good. I don't know. Maybe if I had a nut bag, it would maybe be a little different than rather than a cheese cloth. But I'm not going to invest into a nut bag because I still think it's better buying the silk brand. Yeah, no matter what I do, it just doesn't, it doesn't get any better, unfortunately. So I'm going to put that here. Um. <laughs> I'm just going to add some more brown sugar for now. So yeah, I got to go get uh, vegan coffee, uh, coffee cream and sugar. So I'm probably going to go to Savon because they're open late. Well, they're open till 10. Uh, but we'll see how long laundry takes. But yeah, just sadly. Ugh. But I do want to make my own bread. I actually found a few more recipes where I could use an air fryer. But I need sugar for that. Because I think it really does matter what kind of sugar you use when you make bread. The only problem though is that you got to flip it and then you gotta wait like hour you gotta wait another hour gotta wait another hour a little better with more sugar <laughs> but it's not really any cheaper like i said dates are pretty expensive and almonds i'm actually soaking the uh thing of almonds i got but it was like literally that small and you don't get a lot compared to paying five dollars to get a big huge thing and it usually lasts like about a week i just have to cut down on coffee uh, so yeah i'm not going to share the recipe because i didn't to me it didn't turn out good Ugh. but i still have about an hour uh and a half almost two hours before I have to do laundry and spend time with family. Because you guys know me, it takes me a long time to wake up and I have so many dishes to do. Like, and that's the problem with not having a microwave. Cause I gotta use the frying pan, I gotta use the pot over and over and over again. And then I gotta use uh, the baking stuff. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's so much so many more dishes rather than when you just have a microwave you just stick it in and then it's good <laughs> to go so yeah the air fryer is fine and clean but 
like I said, I don't really want to use it yet just for like a small little thing and then I have to re use it and you can't heat everything up in an air fryer, which is a problem with it. Because I'm just using it to warm up food. <laughs> So it's actually not that bad now since I added more sugar, but then is that really healthy? Not, probably not. So again, daily vlog of living with conditions. Been up for quite a while. Um, I left. Bud was biting me this morning for some reason. So <laughs> I tried getting his food ready and then he kept biting me. So then I went to go use the washroom and I left the food in the back of the counter. And he got up and ate his food anyways. <laughs> Man, bud, you gotta eat. Seriously. So, yeah, I don't know why he's biting me today, but I guess because he's hungry. But I have dry food there for him. And I feed him too much, I think. So I'm trying to cut down on the food. Like, I'm just giving him not even a, not even a spoonful now. Because he wants to be fed all the time. Otherwise, he meows all the time. So that's why I've been sp spreading it out and giving him less and less and less. So cause he does have dry feed out all the time and that's good enough for him so now all I have to do is just make the sauce for the um vegan chop suey and I know I still have to make spring rolls but I have so many dishes that I gotta do so uh, yeah I've just been focusing on the dishes and slowly waking up so I just want to show the coffee creamer because I made that a few days ago but thankfully my friend sent me a 20 so I said, yeah, sugar, coffee creamer later. So even if the coffee creamer is seven or eight bucks, I'm going to buy it anyway. Because <laughs> it's just gross making it yourself. And like I said, I don't have a nut bag, but I did use a cheesecloth and it's still not good enough. So I don't know. I think it's just, I, I'm so addicted to the sub coffee creamer that nothing else is good. Because even when I use the oat coffee creamer I think that's gross and when I uh yeah if I use an oat one I'm like ugh gross <laughs> it has to be the silk coffee creamer otherwise it just doesn't work but at least now I know I do have enough money for pay payday when it comes which is like a week of pay days away so it's not too bad but yeah I guess Bud, Bud's just being Bud. <laughs> so yeah, it was kind of awkward that he was biting me this morning, but now he's all cuddly and he wants attention. So I'm like, I guess that's his way of forgive, asking for forgiveness. So there's Bud on the windowsill. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, because I do. I have like so much to do, it's insane, but... Um, yeah, laundry is done around 7. Like I said, I'm doing a load of clothes and then two, uh, blanket, one of the big blankets. And then I'll probably end up going to Savon right away because I'll probably be done like around 7 or 8 <clears throat> just to get coffee dreamer because, yeah. I was gonna wait till it was done, but I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Sometimes it's just not good. So yeah, just making vegan chop suey, and I gotta make the sauce, and then I'm gonna go for another smoke and finish this uh, coffee cream right here. This coffee here, even, like, it is a little better, but still give me a weird taste. Yeah. <laughs> it's still better than nothing, I guess, for now. I don't want to go shopping yet. So, yeah, I'm just going to get a container down so I can make the sauce. And then I'm probably going to try to uh, at least roll some spring rolls, but I'm pretty sure... 
<clears throat> oh yeah, too. See, that's the problem with not having a microwave. Usually, I just stick it in a microwave for filling, but I gotta warm it up. And it's like, ah, oh, I gotta do too much to do. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I'll get a microwave. If not, then payday, I'll go. I'll buy one used. But my friends said they're looking into it, so. Anyways, I'm not making coffee creamer again at home. <laughs> it just means that I have to cut down on a lot more, which I have been. So, like I said, I haven't been cooking for the reason to cut down on using stuff, using ingredients. And I haven't been baking because that also has that, but... Um, I did get a recipe for vegan bread, uh, which I have to airproof, like, and, but then I could use it in the air fryer, so, yeah, I think I'm going to do that later tonight, though, because I should really at least roll up the spring rolls, um, and then just cook them later, but we'll see, I mean... Three, uh, I still have an hour and a half, so, but I do have to make the chop suey, and I need the ingredient, uh, the sauce, and I need to cook that. So, yeah, that's why I'm not recording, because, like, I constantly go in and out for smokes, and then it's only going to be, like, a ten-minute video, so really no point of that, but I did want to show the coffee creamer, so, yeah, coffee creamer, yeah. Definitely gotta go buy it, so. Next time, if they don't have coffee creamer, I'll just go to another store. <laughs> yeah, eventually they'll have it. So, <clears throat> like, comment, share, subscribe, 255, Daily Vlogger Living with Conditions, and I'll talk to you guys after the vegan chop suey is done, because I gotta use up the bean sprouts and stuff like that. <laughs> I made it before, so, um, yeah. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Sharon Phantom Stories.